Good day everybody, my name is Ogile Lawale and I will be teaching you how to use the Swiss Manager from scratch. Well, for those that will be joining this course, please try as much as possible to um, like this channel and follow. You know, subscribe, like, follow. So, so more of these videos are going to pop out topic by topic so you'll be able to understand the nitty gritties when it comes to using the Swiss Appearing Manager. <clears throat> For starters, um, I'm not going to be showing you how to install or how to, what is it called, um, set up the program. This is meant for those that have actually installed the program. Mind you, if you are going to get this program, please make sure, I think um, the fee is 150 euros for the full version. Please get the full version. That's the best you can use because there are lots of limitations with the light version and the demo version. So please. What of advice go for the full version is that clear thank you very much okay let's quickly jump into this i don't want to you know waste time and bit about the bush let's just go straight into it um uh, if you are using a swiss manager you know that you are using it for pairing of chess tournament major list chess tournaments okay and chess tournament for 10 players 20 players 50 players 100 players in fact 1500 players the full version can get to that level you can if it can be a team event it can be um, um, a team Swiss or a team round robin so these are these are what you need the Swiss manager for so quickly once you have the Swiss manager you click on it you open it this is the first dialog I mean this is the first window is gonna be showing you so now the very first thing you need to do is to click on file and click on new tournament that's the very first thing we need to do new tournament now you see we have these different types of tournament the switch system the switch system with a team tie break the switch system for two teams the round robin the round robin for teams so let's start for an individual tournament let's say we have an individual tournament of maybe um give or take um, um 20 players 20 players a swiss tournament so let's see let's let's get started so we see we click on the swiss tournament you see it's highlighted with the dots there then we click on ok and the next is going to give is this dialog box we have to save our tournament okay so let's save our tournament as um james um closed championship okay then you click on save and that's it <clears throat> The next is going to be showing is this dialog box, which is a tournament data dialog. The first thing we start typing James Closed Championship, right? <clears throat> That's the name of the tournament, tournament name. Then we come to the organizer. Let's say the organizer is Peter, Peter, Peter dot Inc, Peter Inc, Incorporation. That's the organizer. <clears throat> corporation or or let me just say someone like um, peter james is a tournament organizer is the organizer of the tournament so we have um if the, the if the tournament has a website a, an official website you put the website there if they have an official email you put it there the time control of the tournament let's assume it's um it's a rapid tournament so let's say time control is 15 minutes um plus 20 seconds bonus added that's it you just write it there that's that's it. The tournament director. Who is the tournament director? Let's use my good friend's name, Ofubu Samson. That's the name of a very good friend. He's a very wonderful tournament director in Nigeria. Ofubu Samson. And now let's who is the chief arbiter. You have to fill in all these blanks. Who is the chief arbiter? Let us say international. Oh, let me use my name. National arbiter. NA. Then you put my name there. Um, then who is the deputy chief arbiter? Maybe. Uh, let me see. Um, another national arbiter. Oh, let me look at what I can do. All of the job, all of the job about today. Um, yes, about today. Let's see. So that about today as national as a deputy chief arbiter. And if you have other arbiters, you can actually write their names there and put a comma to differentiate between them. So we have the which country are we playing this tournament from? Just click on this arrow. You can check the list of the countries and their codes. If it is Nigeria, just use NGR. Yes, Nigeria. Or you can even type. At times you can just type it out like like Nigeria. Nigeria say so to bring it out or just write the NGR on this so Nigeria see perfect cool if you here you can just write N you can just type the letter you're looking for maybe Canada C A N C is gonna bring up for Canada so but again we're in Nigeria so it's Nigeria so can you can see NGR we click on it and that's it so location of the tournament well that's in Lagos Lagos Nigeria it's in Lagos that's why the tournament is good so now the rounds how many rounds are we looking at let's look at six rounds event it's a six round event now the date of the tournament 16th 07 2022 nope let's say the tournament is starting tomorrow um 
let's say um, um, 17 let's say sorry that's not possible 17 or oh, 7 2007 um, and the end date of the tournament is let's assume it's just one day tournament so also 17 so just one day event if it is two days event three days event, just write the date then you're starting from this date and is ending on this date or let me just make it two days so it makes it more interesting 18 let's say 17 to 18 that's when the tournament is going to start and it's going to head so um now what are we looking at next we're looking at what kind of um sorting do we want let's sort with international rating please okay international rating or someone can say international rating only um yes we can do that you can just pick which one works you can say international rating then national rating if it's a country that has national rating like the uscf and um the um FIDE. so you can either have if you don't have a FIDE rating then your national rating comes up first but in nigeria we only have um international rating so we don't actually need the national rating so it depends anyone you want okay so we click on that um then next um your time control this is a rapid tournament remember it is 15 minutes plus 20 minutes 20 seconds at a time so it's a rapid tournament and finally um, we look at is it a federated tournament yes it is if it's not a federated tournament you just click on no no problem if it is a nationally rated tournament you click yes or no as well so if it is yes yes but here again remember in nigeria we don't have national rating so we use no there is no point doing that so pairings according to their game point yes one half zero one means you one half is a draw zero means you lost and if you want to use game points which is three points for a win one point for a loss and zero for uh a, i mean one for a draw and zero for a loss that means you should pick this one that's if you want to that's your players will be paired according to this game point this is not their score they will be paired according but this is the game point please thank you very much so we go we click on okay that's it click on okay and voila the next thing on the list the next thing on the list is to put in the players that are playing i'm going to assume all the players that we're going to be putting in there are not <clears throat> well, some are rated and some are not rated okay um so for the sake of the first one let's look at it from this way um the first player let's say james james Peterson. uh let's say number two just click on number two here sorry um sorry about that number two let's look for um sydney sheldon uh oh sorry sydney sheldon number two number three click on number three player uh let's do number three manager some um james brown or let's say um who's the um james patterson oh we already have james patterson there um most people seeing this now we already know that this guy with lots of numbers james colby we have James Corby. Let me use some Nigerian names there. We have a phone show Williams. Okay, now we have 20 players in this tournament we've inputted them manually and if you look at if you look down there you see the information about the tournament james close championship and we have 20 participants at the moment and this is round zero that means we've not started the round at all okay so quickly we have these 20 names as fast as possible then we just click on okay no now let's assume some of these players are fide ids um you click on input update players we want to input their FIDE IDs. Okay, they are from maybe same federation. Let's say they have some on the same federation. Now we have FIDE IDs. So let's let's familiar he actually has a FIDE ID. Let's give him a random number five six seven one 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 one. That's like a six let six numbers. Okay, that's familiar. Uh, let's look at another person here. Has another FIDE ID three four five or something. Maybe just their FIDE ID numbers. That's the numbers attached to them on the FIDE level. So now what you do next after fixing all this, if you are going to input this, then of the of course their sex. If they are male or female, for example, maybe Moses Caleb is a male, of course is a male. We don't have to stress those males out. But if it's a female, you have to probably stress it out. Um, let's assume uh, for sure Williams is a female. You just put the letter F there to show this is the only female in the tournament. So if they have a rating what's their international rating international rating let's say this guy is a uh, 1500 
um, one five nine nine, and this person is uh, maybe is, um, two to one hundred. The truth of the matter is the highest you can get is two thousand one two. Th I mean, you can't get up to three thousand so far. Uh, maybe three thousand. You can't get more than three thousand so far. So good. So we have um, maybe one eight hundred. Click on this. It gives gives one gives you two five hundred. Is a grandmaster maybe. Um, one three hundred, and um, this one is um, let's see, uh, one thousand two hundred. And this one we give him like one six hundred. Uh, finally, we give this you me. We give them uh, maybe um, um, one seven eight eight four. So these are their FIDE ratings, their international FIDE ratings, of course. And we click on OK. Um, FIDE ID. Some have, some don't have. Whatever you know, unrated players. Um, for example, all this one that has FIDE ID. All this one that have rating must definitely have a FIDE ID. So they can't just have something without FIDE IDs. Let's just work that out. Don't worry, there's a proper way of getting all these things out. I'll show you very soon. Just bear with me. Okay, uh, this is just for educational purposes. Um, good. Then we have this. Uh huh. Did I just do that twice? You can have two people can have the same rating uh, for the IDs. It's not possible. Perfect. So that's it. So that's everything. We'll click on OK. So we're good. We're good to go. You can save. Save your tournament. And it's good there. So next round one, we're going to pair these players. But the very first thing you need to do before you pair your players, you have to be sure that you resort your start ranking list. When you resort your start ranking list, guess what? After clicking input, clicking on resort start ranking list, and you click on should yes. Then you come to list over here. We want to see what the start ranking looks like. List, click on start ranking. Bam. And this is it. These are your players. You see? Cracks Toby is rated number one, I is rated Ateta number two because it's 1800. You, me, one seven, and on and on like that till we get to zeros. And notice all these unrated players or zero rated players they are in alphabetical order. See, Aaron came first, A F F E F I F U, then H next. After H is I, I B I N, and after I is James. Now, James Corby came before James Peterson, the C B, right? The Moses next, O next, S Sydney came first. Stephen King. So that's it. He's going to um, um, arrange them in alphabetical order for those that don't have if uh, have ratings at all. But for those that have ratings, he's going to actually order them in the order of their ratings: two five to the mid to the um, lowest. That's the best way to explain this. Now, finally, we can now go to pair our players. We click on pairing, computer pairings, right, and here. You click on just start. See everything and make sure that the Java version machine is installed. Please download Java after downloading your Swiss manager. It's it really really works. After you have the Java, so that you can click. Just click on start. Bam. And now it's going to work internally. And guess what? You see, pair is done. And we click on OK. Once we click OK, we just come back to list because we want to see our pairings. Now just click on list and click on pairings. Voila! Guess what? Our pairing is out. Round one. Crack Toby is playing against Fulshaw Williams. Hardly Chess is playing against Ateta Cops. Yumi is playing against Ibrahim Ujuku. And so on and so forth. You get to table 10. And that's it. You've just made your very first um, pairing <laughs> using the Swiss manager. Guess what? Next video, we'll be telling you about how to impute results and continue your pairing till you get to the final um, round and you will be able to compute or list your um, standings for this tournament. Till then, bye for now.